How's it going, bros? My name is Peter Pan. Yo, what's up, your boy Kisala, GWT? How are we all doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Nick, I can't. If it's something very unique and special. My neighbors are looking at me from their windows and think I'm a bit weird. We're currently going in to Curry's. I just want to talk to you like a human being. YouTube is home to some of the biggest content creators in the world and an infinite scale of entertainment. Billions upon billions connect with one another 24 seven through these content creators. And what opportunities does YouTube offer? And this is a graphic novel, yep. which a lot of people, I went, oh, is he? Is he yeah. branched into that? <laughs> My name is Gesser, and I'm a vlogger. I started my channel back in September 2015. I give advice and share my own life experiences to reach out to those who are going through similar cases. I also do sketches, random activities, day in the life vlogs, special event vlogs, and I plan to do much more on my channel. After being introduced to YouTube in 2009, I became mesmerized with the concept of this website. Anyone could upload a video and share it around for anyone to see. One of my inspirations for starting YouTube were my friends, because they were uploading random videos of what we were doing in our spare time. <laughs> that was me getting pushed off the boy by this guy. Yeah, I did that. So in 2011, I decided to make my own YouTube channel and give it a go myself. But in 2013, I suffered a setback with my confidence. My anxiety and OCD began to affect me deeply, which led me to stop making videos. But after two years, my confidence grew, and I went back to making videos with new motivation. After watching many YouTubers during my break, I knew what I wanted to do, create content. Since starting back up, YouTube has helped grow my confidence in speaking to others, and it's helped me express and show off my talent for filmmaking, entertaining, and editing. My goal on YouTube is to put a smile on someone's face, whether they're going through a rough patch in life, or they've just had a hard day, or if they just want to laugh in general. I'm not doing YouTube to get famous. I'm doing it because it's fun. It allows me to do what I love, and I want to make people smile. Meet some of the content creators that gave me that motivation. PewDiePie. All right, let's get the other. Ah, Mr. Ah, Baron! KSR. Stop downloading porn, even though this game isn't even online. Zoella. YouTuber edition. <laughs> what? <laughs> Casper Lee. Uh, what? Oh! Joe Sugg. <laughs> let's start that again, shall we? And Markiplier. It's fine. It's good. It's not too hard. Like my channel, like everything, YouTube started from an idea. An idea developed by three men. Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and George Kareem. The three former PayPal employees came together with the purpose to create a website for people around the world to upload and share around their videos. In early 2005, planning of the website began. And on Monday 14th of February that year, Chen, Hurley, and Kareem launched their website. A few months later, on the 23rd of April, the very first video was uploaded to the website. It was made and uploaded by Kareem, titled, Me at the Zoo. The video was of Kareem on a trip to San Francisco Zoo, only lasting 18 seconds. And that's pretty much all there is to say. And as of March 23rd, 2016, it is the second most popular website in the world. There are stars being born on YouTube every day, going from under 100 subscribers to hundreds of thousands. It is an incredible and exciting thing, YouTube, as there is an endless count of opportunities waiting to be grabbed for those who put the time and effort into their work. To billions of people around the globe, they have become idols with their comedy, advice, support, and dedication. But how long does the public spend watching content on YouTube? Practically every day. Every day? Whenever there's something I want to have a look at. Every day? If not every day, maybe every second day. And what type of content do they watch? Football sometimes, uh, old TV programs or comedies, 
music, people playing pranks and music. Well, when I was studying, I would look for things like historical things, but then also just entertaining, like some bloopers or, you know, funny mistakes. Like John Tron, Pro Jared, um, maybe sometimes a nostalgia critic or some other guys. You so know? mostly like review vlogging and gaming channels in a way really you would watch the most oh yeah there is so much content that is informative inspiring and entertaining there is something for everyone to watch so to give us more of an idea how and why people do youtube i've invited two fellow content creators and friends to give their points of views um my name is rob mcclain and i produce a lot of creative short film content but on my main channel I also do vloggy channels. I've also had a dabble at gaming channels as well. My name is Danny, I own a YouTube channel which I have renamed to Danny B Edwards just to suit more of me and I make vlogs now. I used to make gaming videos but I've kind of adjusted to making vlog style videos. A lot of things are going towards the online platforms and the biggest one of course at the moment is YouTube and, and what inspired me to get into YouTube was the fact that I want to get into media and I want to get into this industry and YouTube is the main uh, priority for a lot of people who are working in this industry at the moment. The reason I ever got into it was because of a guy called Syndicate. It evolved into making more editorial kind of based Call of Duty clips. For a while that was something that I, I really did enjoy, that was something really fun. Me and Garant basically started doing vlogs at about the same time really, r roughly about and I think that we've both taken like the same path and same approach to it which I think is really cool. Most talked about YouTube is the money making, which is beneficial for those who put the time and effort into their content. To start making money, the content creator will have to become a YouTube partner and they will also have to gain a certain amount of views per month. The exchange is one pound per thousand views. So if a content creator gained 10,000 views within a month, they would receive 10 pounds. If they received 72,000 views in the next month, they would receive 72 pounds. Ads will start to appear on their videos, resulting in them receiving payment. But a percentage of the payment will go towards the brands whose adverts have been shown on the videos. There are other methods to earn money from the content. Creators can place a donation box on their channel, acting like a tip jar, work with brands, hold events with the opportunity to meet their audience, or crowdfunding. An example of this is Patreon. They are fairly new and are becoming very popular in the creator community. There's a, there's a lot of positives. It's grown because there's a lot more people joining YouTube every single day and it's cool to see that, you know, young people are constantly looking for new content, looking for like new things to watch. I love how anyone can do YouTube. All you need is a camera and an internet connection and that's literally it and anyone is able to view it and I love the ease of access of YouTube. Amongst all the positives, there are negatives with YouTube. As YouTube is so open, it allows internet trolls to upload any and as many controversial videos as they want. There's a lot of people who now focus on the money. A famous vlogger called Casey Neistat who said, you make money to make films, not make films to make money. Whereas a lot of people have seemed to um, have lost their concept of that, especially with people like the Fine Bros, um, who had a massive scandal recently because of their uh, copyright laws and, and the way that they're abusing the copyright system that YouTube has and you know there's a lot of scumbag YouTubers as well like people like Sam Pepper, Jason V1I you know like abusers who use YouTube as a, a platform to abuse people I think the growth of YouTubers inspired a lot of that in, in some very negative people. An example of this would be Nicole Arbor's video directed at fat people this sparked a massive uproar on the internet. Another would be how hard it is to get noticed on YouTube. Thousands and thousands of hours worth of videos are uploaded to YouTube every hour. A good number of them are people who have the talent of creating content that is worthy of watching and can give them a career. But due to a majority of those who upload videos for different reasons, it drowns out those who truly deserve the awards of YouTube. Becoming successful on YouTube is a very lucky and special achievement. You are more visible to the public, and this for businesses and brands is good. They may approach you and offer you a bargain, advertisement on your channel in exchange for more publicity or more. They may ask you to try a new product they are bringing out and give your points of view to your fans. Vicstar123 is a gamer. Last year, he was invited out by the makers of Just Cause 3 for a holiday and to try out their new game. But YouTube also gives its content creators physical rewards once they have surpassed certain milestones.
a silver play button, a golden play button, and a diamond play button. When looking towards the future, I wonder, what will online entertainment look like and how will it affect the content creators of today and generations to come? YouTube is definitely here to stay. It is the public's entertainment. It is a business's promotional tool. It is so much more than just a website with an infinite number of videos. For the content creators, I also can say they are here forever on YouTube. In years to come, more and more talent will come to light and new entertainers will be born. The advice I'd give to any person who's starting YouTube is, you know, try and produce content because you know it's right to produce that content. Don't produce content because um, you want to get famous, you know. You know, producing content is something that you should enjoy and if you don't enjoy it, then, then stop and reconsider what you're making and, and make something which you know is going to benefit people but it's also going to benefit you. Don't expect it to blow out the water straight away. If you want it, then make sure you go for it. It's like anything in life, mainly down to the kind of content that you're making. So maybe adjust every, every now and again. Someone's going to find it interesting and then that's going to be passed on, you know, change of style. The entertainers we know today, they'll still be well known. Maybe in 10 years time, they'll still be making videos. Maybe not, but they will be known as one of the first that spark generations of content creators to continue carrying the YouTube torch. Create a vision and try to find yourself in this life. You only have your dreams. So lift your head and start to believe.